Welcome back to Mario RPG. The more recent one? I don't know. The original game didn't have autosaves, so... But this is the remake! You couldn't jump to save your life, kid, so I guess this is goodbye. When we left off, we, uh... We... You know, the giant sword stabbed through the castle, so we had to figure out how to rescue Peach. Then we met the funny little... Cloud... Guy, Mallow. And, uh, now we're helping him. Chase down this crocodile! I keep failing that jump. Right, now we're. See, where do I go? This way? I don't quite understand. Oh, oh, okay. That makes sense. What? No, no. Really? No. Oh my god. That's a bit of a janky puzzle if you don't just make the jumps correctly. We got a There. How are you guys still not dead yet? What? Night? Why are why are they doing so much damage to me? So much damage? I mean, at least my like dodge move over there is almost ready. Gauge, dodge, gauge. But like, what? How? Okay, it's I'm, I've had enough of this. You die. What? How much health do you have? Okay, Mario's dead. Oh god. Okay, this area is hard. That's right, I remember this from the original... I remember this from my original playthrough. Okay, I just died. I remember this from my original playthrough. There's a bit of a, a difficulty spike once you hit this area and start encountering... and start having multiple party members. Which I guess makes sense, because like the first area you're just running through is Mario. There's only so hard they can make it. The next section actually gets kind of challenging. Now granted, so pretty much auto saves every room. That's nice. Because uh, like, this is the room where the save block was, yeah. And then I just walked through here, and this is where it auto saves, so yeah. Jump on that. Now, if I just stay on these without falling off, I should be able to avoid the enemies and their nonsense. There we go. Okay. That was... making that room harder than it needed to be. Oh, you are a persistent pest, but I'm a hundred miles ahead of you. This isn't quite the voice I was doing from yesterday, but I like this one better. Probably don't want to jump on these guys. Oh, yeah. Well, good thing the basic attack is the hammer anyway. This is different than every other. This is like jumping is not the base attack. It's like the special. Okay, why were those guys so much easier than the dudes in the last room?
Running through the mysterious forest. This game has such a wonderful art style. I like. Give it up already. Treasure box tempted to an absolute time. Treasure box, hello. Get on this. Yeah! Oh my god, I have to slowly... This is kind of... Part of like the 3D space, my depth perception is not great. Which is definitely also true of the original game, where it wasn't even in 3D, you know? Just a little more... Like, if anything, it was probably harder to depth perceive in the original game. Yo! Okay, that's cool. I got... What is that? Is that... Ooh, raises flower FP by 3. I like that you just get stat increases in the world by hitting blocks. That's interesting. Dead end! They won't give up. I'll just have to hide. <laughs> He's gone into hiding. Let's see if we can sneak up behind him and catch him. I gotcha. Yeah, your eyes are much faster than your feet. It'll take you a hundred more years to catch me. <laughs> He's quickly becoming, like, coked out. Um, oh, hi, Goomba. What is that thing? A frog -og? I'm gonna get ahead of this guy. This guy seems like he's gonna become a problem, so let me just use the jump move. Okay, that did more than my jump, but I already... What is your special? Thunderbolt and Thought Peak. Oh, this will show the remain. Oh, it's like... It's like, uh... Like Goombario Tattle Me. I don't need that for anything. I'd rather just tap them. The FP meter is shared between all of us. Yeah, I feel like a lot of these, like, remakes from the SNES era just, like, they turned the unique sprite art style into a, a much more generic version of the art style. This does not feel as genericized as most of these remakes do. This is actually very... It's like in 3D, but it still feels very faithful and unique to the original. Oh, hi. You're right there. What's this? You fools can chase down a pumpkin. Can I just, like, punch him? What's this? You fools couldn't chase down a pumpkin. Why am I... Is this, like... Okay. Hi. Weakness. Oh. 71 health. It doesn't, like, give him a health bar, though. It just shows how much health he has right now. That's kind of... It's not exactly right. Oh, yeah. He's, he's weak to, like, every element. It shows it's a weakness, and there's a whole, like, list on the right side. I love, I like little squatted Mario doing a little dance. That's fun. HP ra- oh! Wait, I can use this in the environment? Oh, okay, cool. Hit A just before the shower. Oh, I think out here it's just a normal, you know? What's this? Okay, I feel like I'm failing this. Am I supposed to jump on him? Am I supposed to get up, sneak up behind him and jump on his head or something? Yeah. Ah, your eyes are much faster. Okay, and then he does this again. This is annoying. 
なあストップイット Why? This is the worst Okay, the first time it was very easy to just like jump on his head, and this time it's. The, fir the first time I didn't have to jump on his head, I just had to run up behind him. Now, now I have to like jump on his head. And if I don't succeed at that, he runs around again like a stupid idiot. I'm just gonna stand right here and keep doing it. God, what is the point of this? Why does he turn around? Okay, can we go now? It'll take you 50 more years to- what? This is very dumb. Oh my god. Ah, oh, you fools can chase down a pumpkin. What's this? You fools can chase down a pumpkin. Where is he? Where did he go? What is this? I haven't seen him go over here yet. You again? This is getting old. It'll still take you. <laughs> Mallow's like, I'm done with this part of the game. Well, I was lying. You're stupid, and I'm gonna stomp on your head. Thanks. I only have one appeal. Oh, well, let's see how much time this is. 282? That's a boss, alright. He's weak to fire, fear, poison, and mute. How many different like status effects are there? Everything that's fire. Honey, super, the It didn't say he was weak to light. Why does Mal do like no damage? 23? At least the mushrooms heal like my entire health. I don't know what to do with Mal though, because his punches are not effective. Yeah, they do one damage. Wow, yeah, even when I get the perfect combo, they still only do one damage. Mallow just, like, can't really hurt this guy, can he? Okay, oh, we've unlocked our special move. The Gage move! Toad comes running to assist him. Who knows what you might get? That's not... That's not an attack, but okay. Ah! Here's an egg shell! Defense up. Okay. Right, that was... Clearly we haven't unlocked the actual special attack. Special attacks yet. You can see there's a chain number on the side of like successful, perfect button presses that we've done in a row, which is interesting. Yeah, okay, that actually was successful. It's not hard to change these. I'm getting pretty good at just consistently doing these correctly because to 10 chain. Oh, did I change for a minute? Whatever. Mallow is not helpful here. He 
should probably be not Mario! Heal yourself, monkey! Why would it ta auto target Mario who has full health and not dumb? Dumb. Okay, this time heal yourself, nerd. Ah, I'm just too friendly! I just want to give Mario health all the time! Why the hell got bomb? I like that you can, like, perfect dodge basically every attack and just not take any damage. That's cool. Most Mario RPGs are taking, like, a little bit. Chunky. Don't have any more FP restoring items. So we gotta just keep one damage punching him. I think this fight is probably- I think this fight might have been where I stopped playing originally. Because he has a lot of health. Did he just heal himself 60 health? What? Uh, this fight is stupid. The, the HP- yeah, there's like the boss HP number is so inflated and Mallow doesn't do like any damage at all. Uh, this is- this is definitely where I stopped playing originally. I was like, this is dumb. Like, we literally almost... We're gonna fill up that meter a second time, probably, before we can even kill it. And I don't have enough FP to spam this, like, Thunderbolt move every time. I mean, at least I very easily dodge these. Miss? Miss? Come on, Mario. At least I'm like very easily dodging all of his attacks. Like, I'm perfect dodging most of the attacks. The perfect dodge window seems pretty generous, at least for this particular fight. Why is it always Mario who uses it? Why isn't it... Why isn't it Mallow? It was Mallow's turn. But, okay, whatever. It was Mallow's turn. Attack action commands succeed for two turns. So they just succeed automatically without me having to do anything. Cool. That doesn't make him die faster. I want him to die now. I thought they succeed for two turns. They, that one already didn't succeed, and it's only been one. This fight's painfully long. Yeah, give me back my coin or I'll belt you again! My froggy coin! Gonna pay you back in spades, kid. Adios, amigos. Jeez, that guy's I don't know if the original game had the, like, perfect dodge, you take zero damage, Because that's the thing that was like... Oh, now I learned Fireball after the fight with the guy who was weak to fire. Okay. Yeah, we did it. We got Grandpa's coin back. I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this. The Croco guy left a wallet. I'm going back to the item shop. If you want to join me, we can use the map to go back to the Mushroom Kingdom and do it. I feel like this was not in the original game. Did it, like, warping like this? Maybe it was, but I don't know if it was in the game at this point. Like, just being able to warp straight back here after... What is going on? But yeah, that's an enemy. Why, why are there the bouncy, shy guys on pogo sticks there? Stop missing, bro! 
Jeez, that did a lot of damage. Mario! Again! I didn't even get the chance to go into the item shop before these guys showed up and just started attacking me. I've had enough of this. I didn't- I should have used that on one of the other two that I've hit less. That other one I know has 12 health, so I can be easily just punch them. Yeah, that Croco guy was just like super resistant to all our attacks. Thanks, Mario! I'll continue to stay and watch, but now everyone seems suspicious. Is this the item shop? I could use some items, actually. Hello. Excuse me? You're watching. What? How are you shoppers at a time like this? I just, just take what you want and leave money behind. There's no. What do you mean, take what you want and leave money behind? There's no. Oh, okay. This is. Okay, I'm good. I need some of these. Interesting that the. FP increasing items are the most expensive. They're like twice the amount of the revive items. Is there a limit of how many they You can only buy four at once, four of any item at once, which is a weird, arbitrary number. Except mushrooms, I can buy six of those at once. Oh. Precious status. Clearly, town is under attack while I left. Clearly, clearly, some stuff happened here while I was gone. Taking a nap then. Town's under attack. Time, time, time for a rest. See, I'm more awake. Now I guess it's time for me to win big. What do you mean that's a different slot than the one I'm playing right now? What save slot am I playing with the auto save slot it is? Okay, what is going on here? Jeez. Why do Mao's physical attacks do, like, poopy doo doo damage? Like, they do one damage. I guess because he's just a silly little, like, cloud puff guy. But, uh, I think that'll be what I upgrade next time he levels up. This is terrifying. Um, Oh my god, I forgot they get another thing. Thankfully, Mallow's Thunderbolt special does not do poopy doo doo damage. It actually does quite good damage. You die now. Did I get three experience from that? The XP, the XP point numbers must be very low. Which is funny because the damage numbers and stuff are pretty high. What do you think 
think everyone went. Well, dang, looks like we have ourselves a new home. We can bounce around all day long, there's no one here to stay in our way. Except of me, Mario! Look at him, can't even bounce. Hey, maybe we can bounce on his head. <laughs> what is that? Rush up, gang! These guys are gonna put a stop to our party! Uh, are we happy about this? You're asking for it. Oh, you're gonna get it. You picked the wrong people. What is, is, is this guy a sword, or is he the dude on top of the sword? Can't tell because the sword has eyes, but then there's also a guy riding it. Clay Morgan. Assuming now doesn't get killed by everybody first. Okay, good. I love that there's a perfect dodge that just lets you like survive attacks most of the time and not take damage. That is so like, cause I hate the like chipping away. It's, like other Mario RPGs, Partners in Time in particular, because the enemies have so much health. It's like even if you're dodging all their attacks well, they're just chipping away at your health slowly. Every little time they hit you. Now it was dead. Uh, because I didn't tell you what The pick me up. Interesting that it's not a one up mushroom. It's like a weird soda thing. Oh wow, all the bodyguards are gone already. Let's go. Let's go! Jump on his head! I'm just gonna keep using the thunder move because Mal is not a strong physical fighter. Like, let's see how much attack is. Yeah, one damage. Mal just sucks at physical attacks, and the bodyguards are back. Okay, let's just focus all our energy on Clay Morton then. I mean, the thunderbolts hit everybody. Nice miss. Come what? It's a bit. The damage numbers mm -hmm. are weird. What? Where did everybody get? The damage numbers are a little bit inconsistent though. Because there's, you know, a normal attack that I completely fail to dodge, which will sometimes take like, yeah, like half my health bar. And then there's I dodged the attack and took half damage and died again. Uh, and then there's the perfect dodge, which is like a third level of dodge skill. Uh, and it's hard, it, it, sometimes it's hard to actually know how much damage the enemy's attacks, like, do, because I, I, I get too used to perfect dodging, and then I fail perf- and then I fail a couple dodges, and then you're down again, and I- can I still use this without him being alive? Okay. Who's that? Stardust. Is that an attack? Yes. Let's go. Yo! See ya! Oh god. Oh god. 20 damage. Um, okay, you need to be revived right now. Yeah, this is definitely, with, between the specials and the... I think the perfect dodge is the biggest thing that makes this easier. Because I don't think the you take zero damage perfect dodge was in the original game. I think it was just you dodge and you take half the damage, or you don't dodge and you take full damage. Which is much more what the other- because that's how the other Mario RPGs work. And it's... And that was still- I would still die a lot with the way that those work. Uh, because it was just like, even if I'm taking half damage, eventually- CAN'T BLOCK! CAN'T BLOCK! You can't- I need more FP. Oh good! He's using another unblockable flame wall! Great! Love that attack! Alright, we can we need we, we need more FP badly. I need to use FP restoring items even though I really need to also be damaging this guy, but like now we have some FP that we can actually we can actually use. Use the FP. 
Thunderbolt. Uh, the bodyguards are back. Great. The bodyguards are back to kill us. I probably should have used HP Rain instead of the attack one, but, you know, I want to kill. Oh my god, I dropped the controller. I need to. Please be dead. Please be dead now. No? Okay, great. Well, you get another. Okay, so when the bodyguards go, that replaces their turn. So I'm essentially getting two turns in a row whenever the bodyguards spawn in. That's nice. Got it. Cool. HP ready. I haven't actually used this in combat yet. Thanks! Thanks! Uh, oh, it only, it only it works on one person? That, that seems like the kind of move that would work on two people, but I guess not. Uh, and he's gone. Well then, if he's gone, then in that case, let's take this opportunity to heal Mal. Even those guys, he only does 2-2. Two, two. Why is his physical attack power terrible? Can the sword come back now? Why am I just attacking bodyguards? Where did the sword go? Did I kill him? Do I, need, do I now need to kill the bodyguards that spawned in? Is, is he not coming back? I like that they sometimes just miss, but also I sometimes just miss, you know? It's a, it's a you know, old school Square Enix RPG, sometimes it is. Because this one's made by Square Enix, the other games were not. I don't, I don't know if this remake, I don't know who did this remake, but... Oh, and you're back. Okay. How much health do you have left? I need, I need to know. This, this is becoming painful. 2.30 still? Jesus. Boing, boing, boing! Oh, God. Let's try the fireball. Oh, so now I don't... That may have not been the best idea, because now I have one flower point, which means I can't do HP rain or the shock moves. You know, that actually was not the best idea. It's fine. We'll be fine. Everything's fine. Oh, God! This is fun, the dog with the flames around. <sighs> then, let's just respawn from here instead of the auto save, cause there we all had the full health. So the whole town is being ransacked by shy guys. Why? Can I just leave? I wonder if there's anything I can sell to get uh, some help. To get more money to buy more things. No, it's all just the stuff I already have bought. It's so nice to see our young ones having a good time. I don't know what's going on outside. It's so scary inside, so let's put them right here. So Toad, in the next episode, I think, this is a good place to, I don't feel like doing two boss fights. There's two back-to-back -back boss fights in one episode. Like, I'm good. Uh, in the next episode, we'll, I don't know why I'm saving the game because I haven't done anything since then. In the next episode, we will go and fight, I think, Clay Morton? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Arrivederci!